Hey everyone, this is Brad from DevOps Journey, and we're continuing our Ansible course here. We're on lab number eight, and in this lab we are going to create two inventory files, one for a development environment and one for production. I'll show you guys how easy it is to have separate inventory files and set variables within those inventory files. So, if you've been following along with the videos, we've been using this inventory file called hosts and we've just had it in the root of our lab directory. Let's go ahead and create a new folder here and we'll call it inventories. And in there we are uh, going to create two new inventory files and we'll call the first one dev and the second one we will call prod and I'll go ahead and grab our old inventory file and paste the contents in there in both the dev and in and prod one and I'll remove this old this old one and there you have it now we have two separate inventory files one for development one for production now of course you would probably have different host names for production than you would for development but um, we're just keeping things simple and we're just gonna keep the host names the same because we don't have separate environments but this is the same way you would do it if you had a development production and test environment so let's take this one step further and let's set a variable so at the bottom you can actually set variables based on the inventory file so I'm gonna say in square brackets all so all my groups will have these variables and I'm just gonna set an environment variable here and I'll say my environment equals development and I'll copy this paste this into my production inventory file and I'll say production perfect so now I have this new variable. Let's have this display on the on the website that we have. So I'm going to get my environment into the clipboard. Let's go into our role, Apache 2, templates, and index. So in there we have our welcome message. It lets you know which server you're connected to. Um, and say we can say this is the environment within these curly brackets we'll put my environment and that should be all that we need so next thing is let's run this playbook I'm gonna hop into my shell here and make sure I'm in the vagrant slash lab directory and now I want to run the playbook. So same way we've been doing it before. Ansible dash playbook. I for inventory file. But now we need to specify the inventories directory. And I want to say slash dev to use that dev inventory file I have. And then dash k playbook one. So I'll go ahead and hit enter put in my password here and it's gonna run all the plays and the only real difference is it's setting that variable to development so it's changed the index file and it's restarting Apache everything looks good now when I do curl load balancer you can see you're getting the the message this is the development environment now if I were to rerun this and change the inventory file to prod we should get a similar result okay so it's run for prod now when I do a curl load balancer you can see that the it was changed to the production environment so there you have it 
It's that easy to have multiple inventory files. All you need to do is set up the different host names that you would have. And then you can set unique variables as well. Because uh, your production, your development environment probably need different, different uh, variables for certain things. So that's all I wanted to show everyone for today. I hope you join me in the next video where we're going to take everything that we've learned and put it all together to set up our database server. Thanks, and I hope to see you in the next video.